troopers are going to continue to answer calls. They're going to render any assistance that's needed. But we are asking the public to, to help us stay on the road and stay healthy. Trooper Kara Burns with the New York State Police says that starts with letting dispatchers know if someone at your home is experiencing flu-like symptoms. They're also filtering calls to determine if the issue can be handled over the phone rather than in person, such as filing a report. There are situations that we, we absolutely are going to have to make contact with people. We're going to have to go in. Um, but it allows the troopers to at least be prepared for that situation and know what they're walking into. Trooper Burns says enforcement will continue as usual when it comes to arrests and traffic tickets. But they are certainly being cautious when interacting with civilians. You're going to start to see a little bit of our troopers keeping a little bit more distance when they're encountering people. You know, especially, you know, standing on, on roadsides next to cars. They might not be standing directly next to the window. If they're interviewing a person, they're going to maintain that six foot distance. Trooper Byrne says if troopers do come in contact with someone who is infected, supervisors are notified and the appropriate precautions are taken to prevent them from infecting anyone else. Our troopers are all trained to deal with personal protective equipment. They're, they all know how to deal with bloodborne pathogens. It's something that that we get in our training in the academy and we also maintain um, throughout our time in in-service trainings. Samantha Damasio, News 10, ABC.